All right, I just want to make a short video talking about gap plays and the red to green entry. All right, so this was SSC. I'm making this video on September 12, 2018. So this was actually yesterday, September 11, 2018. And SSC, as you can see, gapped up. I'm showing you too many candles. And it closed the previous day, I don't know, somewhere around 446 and opened the very next day at 550. All right, so one entry typically that I really love on a morning gap play is when the stock goes red to green. And just to clarify, because some people, um, when you hear them talk about red to green, they are alluding to a stock getting above the previous day's close. For me as a day trader and everything I do is, uh, well, I started the daily chart, but everything, every trade I take is based on the intraday chart. For me, a red to green means through the opening price of that current day, right? So this opened at 550. And if you picture this, as this picture what the daily candle looks like as this is unfolding now keep in mind the daily candle isn't complete until the closing bell but all day long it's forming right so if you picture this right now the daily candle after opening here and then coming down if you study candlesticks at all you know the daily candle it is going to be red right but when this gets up through the opening price in this case through 550 at that price at that moment the daily candle actually turns from red to green, right? So if you picture, you've got a red daily candle, and then as it goes green, as it goes through the open, and if you were looking at the daily candle itself, not the intraday, but the daily chart, that candle would be turning green, right? So that's why that's called a red to green. And oftentimes, it's a great entry as a stock goes red to green, in other words, breaks above the opening price on a morning gap play. However, and this is, this is kind of what I wanted to make this video about, I generally want to take a red to green. I want that to occur probably in the opening four to six to eight minutes. They're more powerful that way. And then there's a lot of other caveats too. I'm not going to, I'm not going to undo, uh, unravel my whole uh, tra trading course here. Um, it's not the purpose of the video, but most of you who follow me know that I do like a red to green on a morning gap play, right? However, what happened on SSC? It opens at 550. It falls all the way in four minutes. It falls all the way to 510. So that's a 40 cent drop from the open, which is a huge drop percentage wise, right? Um, almost 10%. So when it gets back up here near 50 cents, you could argue it's had to run almost 10% to get there. That's almost never a good time to buy. And if you look at the three candles and these, remember these are, you can see right here, they're two minute candles. If you look at the three candles leading up to where it's approaching 550, the low of the first candle is 520. So you're still talking a 30 cent move on a $5 stock in six minutes. It's almost never a good idea to be getting long after a 30 cent move in six minutes on a $5 stock, right? We talk about rule 29 in our course. Um, and rule 29 basically states that you always want to look at how far a stock has just traveled when it gets to a possible inflection point, a possible uh, place on the chart where you think, hey, it might get going here. So I love a red to green on a morning gap play, but not in this scenario. Always look at how far it's come. Anyway, as I unwind this, look what happened. Now, the beauty of it is it never did go red to green. And I was considering, because the daily chart was pretty interesting here, if this breaks the highs, which at the time was 557, I was considering getting long through the half. Uh, there was a sizable seller there, and I thought if that seller gets taken out, the high of day is only, uh, a new high of day would only be eight cents above that. So that big seller at the open, at the red to green spot, if they fall, it's probably going to light up the new highs ticker and maybe give me at least, if nothing else, you know, 10, 15 cent move uh, to scalp some money and you know, make a little a morning trade, right? But because of Rule 29, because I realized how far this had come over the last six minutes, I was literally hoping it wouldn't break that 550 seller because I was probably going to take it, but I also knew it was, you know, a good chance it was going to fail. Anyway, luckily, it never did go red to green, but I really want people to start thinking. And it doesn't have to be a morning gap play, uh, red to green. It could be any setup that you look for. Uh, might be an opening range breakout, okay? If you're looking to take an opening range breakout on a stock that's a recent high flyer, make sure that you're always aware of how far that stock, uh, the price has just moved to get to that point where you think is a good entry. Um, it, that's a really important tip because 
uh, when I first started trading, I never thought of that. I thought, oh, if it breaks the high of day, if it goes red to green, if it breaks over this price, yesterday's high, whatever my rationale was, I never even gave any thought to how far that thing had just come. So um, try to expand your mind a little bit and always check on the distance that thing's traveled. Um, and again, like I said, I was really hoping this wasn't going to break 550 because I probably was going to try it looking for that quick push through the highs. Uh, so I was actually thankful that it rolled over. Um, anyway, that's my little short tip on uh, what to look for if you're trading a morning gap play going red to green. I'm done babbling. Talk to you later.